Hey, what's going on, guys? This is KNASTY3890 here. I'm back with another MLB 17 The Show Diamond Dynasty video, and today we're going to be looking at roughly about eight players here who could be in, who are basically prospects who have less than one year of service time who I think can get a big upgrade throughout the year in MLB The Show. Now, the reason why I'm picking players with less than one year of service time is because with the dynamic ratings in this game, how they uh, choose to how someone goes up or down is they, take, they look at this year and based off a three-year average. However, if this player or players have, haven't been in the major leagues for that long, this year gets weighted more. So if these players have a really good first year, they can get big upgrades a la Trey Turner, a la Corey Seager. Look at the, how, the, how, how high they are. They've only really been in the bigs for about one year. So I'm going to give you guys a list of eight names. These cards are all bronze or silvers that could get those big jumps. These are some of the biggest names in baseball. So let's take a look at them, and I'll tell you why, I mean, why they're rated high and what they, you could expect from them. All right, guys, first up, we have Andrew Benatendi, number one prospect throughout the bigs. Everyone, it's almost a consensus, number one prospect. He is still eligible for rookie of the year, too. He only played about a uh, less, little bit less than a month, I think, than last year. His attributes right now are nothing crazy. Solid contact versus right, solid defense, solid speed. But he, they're saying he's a guy who can kind of do everything. Not Maybe not like the best at one tool, but can do a little bit of everything. So... He's a guy that you I could definitely easily see be maybe a gold by the end of the year. Definitely a silver. Like I said, if he has a good year, that will go up. He's batting, I believe he's going to either be batting second or third in the Red Sox lineup. So he'll be getting a lot of at-bats. I don't care about RBIs, but maybe San Diego Studios does. But he'll get a lot of chances for RBIs. But this is a guy who I think is primed to have a huge year, guys. So definitely, if you want to stock him in some bennies, if what we like to call him, definitely do that. You guys can really pay out in a few weeks to a month. Moving on to a guy on the Yankees. You guys probably saw what he did last year. It's Gary Sanchez. I mean, his power last year, I, he hit, I think, almost 20 home runs in like less than two months as a catcher. Also, they disrespected his arm. He has an amazing arm. Pretty solid field, but an amazing arm. So I'm surprised that wasn't at least a 90. Watch him throw. It's, a, it's amazing. But this guy's got an immense power. He's 24 years old. He's played for about two months last year. He played amazing. That's why he's already a silver. Like, if a guy who literally played, like, two years of just average baseball and then did two months of what Gary Sanchez did, they wouldn't make him a silver. But because, like I said, the three-year average, there's no prior years, that gets weighted more. So that's why he is higher up. So if he plays really well this year, someone in one of my streams was mentioning him going diamond. I thought that was a little, a little much, but high gold i could see i mean he's also going for a lot of stubs guys so if you are looking to buy him he's not cheap because people know he's i mean a he's a yankee b he has power c I mean, people think this too but i mean if he goes to a high gold he'll be worth ten thousand stubs or more but definitely a solid option there if you guys want to get a, a young catcher Moving on now, we got Michael Fulmer. Now, I was a little hesitant to put him on because he almost played the full year last year. But the guy's, the guy's a great pitcher. He, he pitched so well last year. And if he continues it this year again, I mean, they're going to they're gonna need him because, I mean, their they're starting rotation is not the best. I mean, they do have Verlander, who should have got Cy Young last year. But he's definitely going to need to help him out. He, he looks like a stud, guys. Fulmer looks like a complete stud. So if he keeps it up again this year, expect him to go gold pretty easily. Maybe a high gold, and that will definitely help increase his value as another card to invest in for future players. Moving on to the Seattle Mariners, we have a reliever here, guys, who is so dominant. Last year, he took over the second half of the year for the Mariners. Like, he was just so dominant as a, as a closer, as a reliever. Got those gas, it moves, he hasn't, doesn't know where it's going, and that's what's so fun about it. Edwin Diaz, guys, I could see him going... I don't want to say he could go diamond, but if he pitches really well and has like a like a, a case per nine of like 14 or 15, keep up that 95 K per nine already has, that velo, that break. I mean, if he can just do a better job with a little bit of control, this the sky's the limit for this guy and for this card, guys. This Edwin Diaz is the real deal. So fun to watch. If you ever watch it, if you're ever up late for a Mariners game or you get a chance to watch him on like baseball tonight, or something, watch him. He is He's electric, guys, but I really like the card. But I expect him to go gold very soon unless he has a bad, he has a few bad games early on that will definitely skew his stats. That's one little thing that scares me about closers. If he pitches 
in his third outing of the year and he gives it four runs. Well, let's say he's pitched three innings and given it four runs through his third three outings as a reliever. That's a high ERA, and that's not going to help him getting an upgrade. So as long as he stays away from that, I could see him getting a big boost. Moving on to another huge prospect, Alex Bregman, third baseman. Can also play first, short, and left. Now, I wouldn't recommend putting a, sec- a guy who's second position at shortstop, but he can still play it if you need him. Really good fielder, solid contact, but that's going to go up. The guy can hit, guys. There's no doubt about it. This guy can hit. Those contact, I saw them, as I saw those contact numbers, I'm like, this guy can go gold. He can easily go gold if he's hitting over 300. Put those contacts into the, like, the upper 70s, around 80. This card's now a gold card because of how good his fielding is. So, I mean, you guys have probably heard of Alex Bregman, one of the top prospects. I think the second or third overall pick a couple years ago. Guys in that can absolutely rake. He can hit like the best of them. So as soon as I saw those contact numbers were low, but the fielding's high, he can get a huge boost. I would, I would, if you can get him, get him now, guys. And then the former number one overall pick in the draft, Dansby Swanson, part of the Shelby Miller trade, the heist, I should say, for Atlanta, getting Dansby Swanson for Shelby Miller. Shortstop, a true shortstop. Can also play second and third. Solid fielding, good contact. I can expect that contact to go up. Maybe power versus right go up a little bit. Fielding's really good, though. A really like He's not going to be a guy who's going to hit 40 home runs or hit like 330, but he's not gonna, he's going to be a guy who hits over 300 and plays really good defense as a shortstop. That's obviously a very good card in today's baseball, and, and especially in MLB 17, so expect him to go up. Will he go gold? I'm not sure if he'll go, go gold this year. Definitely will go silver, high silver, So, but I just don't expect him to go gold because he already has solid fielding and at least contact first left is pretty solid. Like the Bregmans were like 14 less contact first left. So that's why I don't think, I, I could see him go gold, but not likely. Most likely he will be a high silver, but definitely a card to invest is Dansby Swanson. And lastly, guys, we have Julio Urias, left-handed pitcher for the Dodgers, only 20 years old. He's already played in the majors. He's one of the best pitching prospects in baseball. Uh, guy can is just a great overall pitcher. I'm a little worried about him having like an innings uh, limit this year, which may they may shut him down in August so he can pitch in the playoffs. Like they may only want him to pitch like 180 innings this year. So it really depends on how well he is, how efficient he is with his innings. If he can get a lot of like short pitch counts and he can get to the sixth, seventh inning, and he'll pitch more this year and he pitches well. But they may shut him down in August so they can keep him for the playoffs. Or maybe just shut him down in September and don't have him pitch in the playoffs. But yeah, he's a guy, at least for the beginning part of the year, expect him to pitch pretty well. I mean, they're going to be, high, they're going to need him. I mean, behind Rich Hill and behind Kershaw, he's right up there with a pitcher they really need. So I would expect him, though, to get an upgrade. Maybe not gold, but definitely in the Silvers. This is one of the best prospects for pitching, at least, in baseball, guys. Now, if you do want to see more uh, videos like this, maybe I like, take guys who have already played in the year uh, the bigs for a couple years, maybe who like a silver card or a low gold, who can get that big boost to go like diamond, like what Mookie Betts did last year, for instance. Let me know. I'll gladly make a video for that for you guys in the next couple days. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Drop a like if you did, and I'll talk to you all later. Take it easy. Peace.